I'm Titus Nelson with Cat6 Tools. Today we're going to be testing the performance of a shop vac on 100 feet of extension cord with three different gauges. I have 14 gauge, 12 gauge, and 10 gauge. I'm using a kilowatt meter for voltage and current, and I'm using a CPS flow meter where I put the flow meter out on the end of this flow section that gives me laminar flow into the shop vacuum and we're measuring cubic feet per minute on the shop vacuum. We're at 3,000 foot elevation and it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The rigid WD19560 is a couple years old and cost $179 new. It is rated at 203 cubic feet per minute 12 amps, 120 volts, and 1440 watts. As a rule of thumb, power tools are generally rated as appliances and are limited to 12 amps. Extension cords, therefore, should as a minimum have the same amp rating as your power tool. In our case, a 14 gauge, 100 foot extension cord rated at 13 amps is the lowest acceptable cord for these tests. Our goal is to get the best performance with the lowest amperage cord. The lower the gauge number, the more current the cord will carry. Likewise, the lower the gauge, the lower the resistance and less voltage drop, so more current is available for the power tool. The trade-off is lower gauge cords cost a lot more money and they may not be worth the added performance for the expense. So we are looking for the sweet spot where we get the best performance bang for the buck. Let's see how these extension cords perform. In these tests, we are monitoring volts, amps, cubic feet per minute, and watts. We are using a power strip with an on-off switch to turn our shop vacuum on and off. On this first test, we have the shop vacuum plugged directly into our kilowatt meter, plugged into our power strip. This will give us our baseline numbers. On this second test, here we are plugging in the 10 gauge cord into the power strip and the kilowatt meter is plugged into the end and we plug the shop vacuum into the meter. The third test is the same as the second with the exception that we have replaced the 10 gauge extension cord with a 12 gauge cord. On this fourth test, we have replaced the 12 gauge with a 14 gauge cord. Utilitech, 100 feet, of 10 gauge, three wire, rated at 20 amps. We got 116 volts, 11.8 amps, 224 cubic feet per minute, running at 1278 watts. Here we have Utilitech, 100 feet of 12 gauge, three wire, rated at 15 amps. We got 114.7 volts, 11.6 amps, 220 cubic feet per minute airflow, 1245 watts. Here we have 100 feet of 14 gauge, three wire rated at 13 amps. We got 113 volts, 11.3 amps, 202 cubic feet per minute running 1190 watts. Let's check the results and see how well these cords work. Voltage, we got 118.5 for baseline, 116 for 10 gauge, 114.7 for 12 gauge, and a big drop up to 113 for 14 gauge. Amperage, we got 12.1 for baseline, 11.8 for 10 gauge, 11.6 for 12 gauge, and our lowest 11.3 for 14 gauge. CFM, we get 228 for baseline, 224 a drop of 4 for 10 gauge, 220 a drop of 8 for 12 gauge, and a whopping 202 a drop of 26 for 14 gauge. 
for performance, we get zero for baseline, minus 1.75% for 10 gauge, minus 3.51% for 12 gauge, and a disappointing minus 11.4 for 14 gauge. So how does this translate to shop vacuum performance on its ability to carry dirt? We had a drop of 26 CFM from 228 at baseline to 202 CFM from 14 gauge cord. This drop in CFM reduced the shop vacuum ability to carry dirt from 100% of baseline down to 54.5%, a huge 45.6% decrease. For just 26 cubic feet per minute drop in flow rate, we cremated the ability of our shop vacuum to carry dirt by an astounding 45.6%, almost by half. When it comes to running your shop vacuum on an extension cord, don't starve your shop vacuum for amps. Spend the extra $20 for a 12 gauge cord. $100 gets you three amps above your shop vacuum rating and gets you the best bang for your buck. Also, it works well for any 12 amp appliance you want to run on a 100 foot extension cord. Forget the heavy expensive 10 gauge, it's just an overkill. Check out my video inside the Holy Moly Digger. In this video, you'll see a category six hurricane, which is quite impressive. In order for this to work correctly, I'm using a shop vacuum at the top end of the performance curve, which you just saw. I think you'll appreciate this extraordinary video.